I'm Derek from Revival Central East London, South Africa. Let us turn to Acts chapter 6, verse 10. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. This is Stephen. He's the first martyr. And today I'm going to speak on how one can come to this place of of having this wisdom and the spirit in which no man can resist you. It is also a place of persecution, just as Stephen was persecuted. You too will be persecuted when you speak by the power of the Holy Spirit and you speak supernaturally in this way people will gnash their teeth against you they will hate you and they will persecute you people hate somebody that's always right and coming into this place where you're under the influence of the Holy Spirit in such a way that what you say is always right and that you can have such an understanding, such a wisdom this will irritate and cause people to gnash their teeth against you and this is what I'm here to do today to show you how to be under the Spirit's control how to have this walk with God where you can walk in this place through the Holy Spirit and walk like Stephen walked and this is the message of the foundation which I bring in this website it's about living on a day-to-day -day basis in Jesus, in Him we come to Jesus Christ in repentance trusting in what he did on the cross and coming to him and asking him to come into our hearts but that is what happens when we're born again we're baptized in the Holy Spirit but on a day-to-day -day basis we need to live more and more in Jesus and as we move deeper and deeper in him and live in him as I teach on this website you'll be more under the influence of the Holy Spirit you will live in his presence and you'll find that this becomes true in your life that you'll find that that through the working of the cross there will be much less of your words and more of his words and you'll be speaking more by through the Spirit of God and through his presence this is really the outcome of this foundation that I speak it's a glorious foundation of such power where one's heart is continually turned to him and one lives in this place in him it's a glorious place and God is our shield you can actually literally use the shield around us and his presence is so real and so glorious it's wonderful it's a wonderful place in him and this is this is what comes, this is the fruit of the foundation that I speak of. This is the true foundation that all believers need to have. This is not only for certain people, it's for every believer, for every Christian is meant to have this walk in God. And it's not a few minutes, not an hour, it's to live in His presence all the time. Truly to be in Jesus, to live in Him. And if you get this right today so much which is taught is wrong and people are misled they're led into other things and they don't have this foundation they're not established in him but if you get this foundation right and you'd have to leave the rest you'd have to you'd realize that you can't follow everybody a lot of what's coming forth today is, is simply is rubbish you need to move away from that and come to the truth but when you come to the truth you need to guard it but th the truth here is about 
coming into this relationship with Jesus Christ, of abiding in Him and living in Him. And that is the message of this website. And on this site you will find all the secrets and all that you need to come into this place. That God will bring you into this place where you can move with such power and such authority. This is a place where miracles occur. That you can speak through the power of God. It's a place of a sound mind, of such peace, such glory, and of such freedom. It's, it's really the truth. This is what God has ordained. This is actually the message of the Word. I've struggled over the years. To be honest, I've listened to many, many people. And I have yet, yet to hear of anyone that really brings forth this foundation properly. But if you get this right, if you have the walk that God intends you to have, what happened to Stephen will be this will be true in your life too. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. You can come into this place. And speaks through the anointing and through his presence. It's a glorious place to be. And it is a place of prophecy. A lot of what you speak will be prophetic. Will be of what's to come of the future. And it's a glorious place in him. And of such wisdom and such understanding into the things of God. This is the place that Stephen was in. And I pray today that, that you too will come into this place, into this glorious place of knowing him. And although many are going, will be persecuted in these last days, yes, persecution is coming. Yet we will be able to stand strong in our God, in Jesus, and like Stephen, through the power and the presence of God that we could witness and contradict and expose the lies and the false thinking of the people of this world and even many in the church. want to come into this place spend time with God look at this website for the truth is all here and the way is shown clearly God bless this is Derek Revival Central East London South Africa